Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I have told you, I am just thinking of fun videos to make on YouTube for you guys to check out. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a vlog of tons of pumpkin spice items. So you guys know how much I love September, October, the fall feeling, everything that has to do with fall, Halloween, pumpkins, obsessed. And of course, I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus. So, and on that note, I just want you guys to know that my song, Truth Hurts Hocus Pocus, the parody, cause he found the candle and lit the flame that's black is now available on all streaming platforms. So go listen to the song, add it to your Halloween playlist, get into the mood, get into the spooky season mood. So this is my pumpkin spice vlog. Let's do it. I thought I would start with my favorite product for the Halloween season that I saw in the stores, and it is the Hocus Pocus Nestle Toll House Cookies. This is insane, guys. I cannot believe that they came out with Hocus Pocus Cookies. The Sanderson sisters are on the front of the packaging. Can everyone see? I hope you can. And now we are going to try them. This is the first thing we will try. Let's do it. So we have the Toll House Hocus Pocus cookies and they are flavored oatmeal peanut butter cookie dough. So open here for a deliciously witchy treat. Cool. Okay, so. Okay, so the dough is super cute. Candy morsels of Halloween colors or Hocus Pocus colors. Yellow, orange, and purple. So cute. And I have the oven preheated at 325. And now we bake for 13 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and then we will try other items while they're cooking and then at the end of the vlog you will see what the cookies look like so let's do this i'm gonna go put them in the oven okay so next pumpkin items i picked up were the pumpkin spice creamers that i could find and there were so many it is insane how everyone has jumped on this but i picked out three so i picked out the international delight one pumpkin pie spice and i picked out this almond milk one it's called better half coconut cream almond milk from califia farms and it's the pumpkin spice one and this has no sugar added so i thought this was like interesting and then there's the sugar-free coffee mate pumpkin spice. So let's try it out. I guess I'll shake it a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. Uh, I definitely would put this in my coffee. It's really good. Bursting with cheer, definitely approved. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Delish, very good. Okay, so let's try the second one. This is the Califia Farms one, and this has no sugar added. So, I mean, the International Delight one has sugar in it. It tastes like pumpkin pie, literally. It tastes so good. Um, so this, I am i don't know what to expect with this one. Ooh, it's like brown. Really it's actually really, I actually really like it. It's lighter, it's not as sweet as this one. I think this might get an 8 out of 10 too. Because this one definitely, I can put in my coffee and it won't be like really sweet but it's so creamy and it tastes like pumpkin pie spice, pumpkin spice. I like this, approved. Okay, so third creamer. 
Number three, the sugar-free pumpkin spice coffee made. So let's see. All right. Okay, white, just like the International Delight one. Smells good, let's try. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, okay, so, ooh, it's not good. I okay, <laughs> moving on. So, I guess if you want a vegan option or a gluten-free vegan option, definitely go with this one. If you have no um, needs dietary-wise, I would definitely go with this one, the International Delight. It's a classic. Um, and if you really want the sugar-free one, I guess just, no, don't do this. Just, this has no sugar. This is good. Okay, so next we have the limited edition pumpkin spice swirl bread from Pepperidge Farm. I don't really get it. It just tastes like cinnamon bread without raisins. I don't know. I don't I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> but it's kind of sweet too. Like it's really sweet actually. So I think this is going to get a 4. A 4 out of 10. Next we have the pumpkin cheesecake soft baked cookies also by Pepperidge Farm. So let's try these out. Here's the cookie. Oh my gosh, it is so sweet, guys. It doesn't taste like cheesecake. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. It just tastes like sugar. Like, literally, you're just biting and chewing on sugar. It's so sweet. I would not eat these. No. I'm giving these a 1 out of 10. Okay, so next we have two cereals that are very popular around this season. We have the Frosted Mini Wheats Pumpkin Spice, and we have the Pumpkin Spice Cheerios, which are very popular. I have had these before, but I haven't had them in a while, so I'm excited to try them again. Okay, so let's try these first. So let's do this one first. I don't know what happened. Okay. Ooh, they're frosted mini meats but with orange frosting. Oh my god. I like these. Mmm, this is like nostalgia. I give these a 10 out of 10, definitely. They're awesome. Okay, so next we got the pumpkin spice Cheerios, which everyone is obsessed with. I actually remember the last time I had these, I wasn't that big of a fan, but I honestly haven't had them in a long time, so I want to try them again. Okay, not bad. I feel like it is it's a strong taste and a sweet taste so I definitely would not have these every like I don't see myself having these every morning where these I definitely the frosted mini wheats are definitely like they're not overly sweet and overly pumpkin-y these are really pumpkin-y and overly sweet so they definitely are more of they just taste more of like a dessert but they're still good so I definitely give them like a 7 out of 10? I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Okay, so these are a definite wild card. I just grabbed them because they said pumpkin spice and I was I was just grabbing anything in the store that was pumpkin spice flavored or limited edition. So I'm kind of nervous to try these. They look so sweet. They just look sweet from the packaging. Vortman Bakery Pumpkin Spice Wafers. I would not usually buy these. I would not buy wafers. It says no artificial colors or flavors. Baked with real pumpkin. Here it is. 
has a little orange tint in the middle because it's baked with real pumpkin. Remember this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Sugar rush. First of all, it just tastes like there's no pumpkin flavor at all. Where are the pumpkin at? There's no pumpkin flavor. It's terrible. It. I don't even, I don't understand this. It tastes like, sh it's just pure sugar again. It tastes like pure sugar. It tastes like there's icing in the middle. Like they just put orange icing. It's very strange. I would not recommend these. These get a zero, like literally a zero. Not good, not good. Okay, so next is the Starbucks pumpkin spice Keurig cups. And as you can see, it's already open and I opened it like the crazy person that I am and I definitely give these a 10 out of 10 I'm not gonna make it for you guys because I already had a cup of pumpkin spice coffee and it's so good and delicious and now I'm going to add that international delight or Califia Farms creamer to it okay so next is next are I don't know what I'm saying but these are the Oreo Boo Five Spooky Halloween Design Cookies. These are not pumpkin flavored. I know that for a fact. There's orange cream. So cute. This is not Five Spooky Designs. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Next. Now this was a really cool find that I found in, I don't know, I think it was Target. It's Birch Bender's Pancake and Waffle Mix, and it's pumpkin spice flavored, yeah, duh, and it's paleo, so it is dairy free, gluten free, no sugar, grain free, low glycemic, so whatever your issue is, you can probably have th this, at least. Um, if you have like any sort of allergy or anything, except there are, there's almond flour, so if you have a nut allergy. Oh, and there's eggs. <laughs> but other than that, so, and all you have to do is add water. And yeah, so let's make some pancakes. Let's first look at the... Oh my, whoa, it smells like pumpkin. Hardcore. Okay, so let's go make some pancakes. So, I've made the pancakes. Here they are. Mmm. So easy to make, just add water. They do smell really pumpkin y. So I'm a little nervous, but I think mean, pumpkin is really delicious. Okay, these are amazing. These are so good. These get a 10 out of 10, definitely. They're amazing, they're not sweet. They have a little bit of pumpkin taste in them. They're so good, I wanna eat them. They don't even need syrup. I didn't put syrup on them because I wanted to taste the actual flavor of the pancake. These taste like real pancakes and they're vegan and everything and paleo and I don't even know what else, but these are amazing. I would definitely recommend these. Go out and get them. Birch benders, definitely. Amazing. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And now it is time for the Hocus Pocus cookies. Ah! Okay guys, so the time has come. The Hocus Pocus cookies are ready. And here they are. They came out of the oven like this. So they came out in box shape, which is really confusing because the packaging has a circle. So that was kind of strange, but okay. So I'm gonna try one. These are really good. These are, it's just like this mixture of every cookie. So it's an oatmeal cookie, it's a peanut butter cookie, it's chocolate chip, and it's M&M. Or, well, not M&M's, but it has like the M&M candies in it. 
so they're really good. I really like these. I would definitely give these a 10 out of 10 because not only are they good, they're Hocus Pocus themed and I just love the packaging and I just love that there's a Hocus Pocus cookie because I'm a loser. I just, I just love it. So, approved. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It was super fun actually. I love trying all the pumpkin spice stuff. Some stuff is better than others as usual. And honestly, this is only my opinion, so you guys might love this stuff. Go out, try your own pumpkin spice stuff, leave a comment below what your favorite pumpkin spice item is for the fall season. And do not forget to stream Truth Hurts Hocus Pocus on all streaming channels right now. Get down for the Halloween season, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Gonna make us younger. Fresh photos with the bomb lighting. New warlock from my Salem siding. Truth hurts. Need something more spellbinding. Amok, 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 amok.